Okay, this is a technique that I call snake bonding. And I kind of designed this one especially for feisty snakes that don't want to calm down. Um, I've had, had a few of them over the years. And uh, this one here in particular, he's a little bit feisty and he's usually worse while he's in his cage than when he gets out. Once he's out and being handled, he's not too big of a problem. And the way this technique works is you just slowly start petting the snake. Um, these particular snakes like to rattle their tails when they're agitated and I will pet him until he is over the agitation and I'll do it several times a day until he's just used to me doing this then I'll, I'll start petting him with a glove on at first and then without a glove on and then soon he just won't mind me at all I can reach in and pet him and and he'll think it's just a normal thing but this is how it starts. First I just let him know I'm here. And naturally he's going to be upset. He's not going to like this. Because that's the way he is. But I'm just letting him know, hey, I'm here. I'm not meaning you any harm. I'm just going to pet you. And now he's coming to. He's thinking, what's going on here? I'm not really liking this, but I guess it's okay. And he may strike at me a little. He'll throw a little fit. He's getting more used to it as the days go on, but I like to do this about two times, maybe three times a day, if I have time. You know, every time I come down here, I kind of try to work with him a little. So he doesn't get too grumpy with me. He gets used to it. And a lot of this stuff's just repetitive. And it works pretty good on this snake. He's you know, he's huffing a little bit, but he's calming down. I'm just letting him know, hey, I mean you no harm. I'm just gently petting him. Because that's the feeling you want him to get used to. You want him to actually enjoy this to the point where he's no longer perturbed at you when you come in his cage. And there will be setbacks. You're, you're going to have them possibly strike at you. That's why you start with the glove when you first start training them. He's huffing right now, which is okay. But Okay. Let him see my hand. And with this glove, he, he poses no threat. If he bites me, he bites me. I don't care. No blood, no foul. So I'm going to let him go. And he's just a little bit grumpy, but he'll get over it. Now I may move him around a little so you can see his face. See, look, he's not liking that. He's saying, hey, you shouldn't have moved me around. I'm going to rub him under the chin a little. Pet his back. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. You're okay. You're okay. You just work with me. And then sometimes if they do start striking and they start throwing a serious fit, I may put the glove over their hand, right over their head. And, uh, you know, kind of just gently hold, not a lot of weight on it, but just hold them down a little bit. Let them know that's not acceptable. But he's not too bad. He's not throwing too big a fit. So, I think he's starting to get used to this kind of treatment. And then we can pick him up with our bare hands. As you can see, once we're out, we're usually fine. He's going to explore a little bit, which is okay. <laughs> That's what he likes to do when he gets out. Most of them do, except not on my hat. And his huffiness is over. He's not swelling up his throat anymore. He's not upset. He's just wanting to explore. And that's okay.
because now he's in no danger of biting me. <laughs> he actually likes me now. I'm his buddy because I've let him out of his cage. But I think the majority of the problem we had was actually going into his cage to get him out. Uh, he never did like it. And now he's probably going to get used to it fairly quick with this new technique. So, and you may say, hey, Big K, that's only a six foot snake. What if they get bigger? You know, get a little feistier, you know. Is it still going to work? Well, hang on to your hats. I'm going to show you how it works with an eight foot snake or even a pair of them. Uh, it works about the same. I've been working with an eight footer here that uh, within the last couple of days, he actually comes out of the cage on his own to see me. Um, I've almost quit using the glove altogether with him, and uh, he's fine with that. So, yes, it does work. Yes, it is scary at first, the first time you stick your hand in the cage and uh, he stands up and looks at you. <laughs> but he's more or less just figuring you out. So let's see how it works. Okay, here we are. Definitely bigger snakes. Uh, these are eight foot plus. They are good sized snakes, as you can see. You take a good look at them. And once again, you have to excuse the video. Nobody wants to get bit by one of these, but you got to understand, it's all part of taming them. See, now he's aware that I'm here. He's starting to look at me, saying, hmm, what are you doing in my cage? It's late at night, and you shouldn't be here. But he's okay. You see him looking at me? He just, he's just checking me out. He's wondering what I'm doing up. But also, on the same note, he does know it's me. He's okay with that. But you can come out. You can come out. Come on. You want to show the people how you come out now? <laughs> 